Good Saturday evening, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik with a check of your forecast into the middle part of the St. Patrick's holiday weekend. And things are, again, looking decently quiet across much of the area as we go into the rest of the next couple of days. We do have a system that is going to be sweeping on through the area as we get into about midweek or so. It's called the Clipper system. It's very fast moving and should drop just minimal chances of rainfall for portions of the Mid-South. Unfortunately, there are also signs down the line that we may be looking for the possibility of even more rainfall coming our direction may not be such a problem as what is already heading our direction from up north. Snow melt, rain falling on the snow to melt the snow even faster, and we could be seeing some river rises here in the Mid-South, especially the Mississippi, as we get the added waters of the Kansas, the Missouri, a lot of rivers back to our north. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a little bit, but if you thought the flooding on the Mississippi was going to be over with fairly soon, May not be for a while, depending on what happens. We'll talk about that. Plus, it's National Weather Podcast Month. If you've never heard about that, we'll talk about it and give you some examples about what you can listen to out there as people chit-chat about weather across the country and around the world. So stay tuned for more on that. If you'd like to drop your location and your comments and into the uh, section below, give us a weather report. So let's do some amateur meteorology out there and show a little bit more about what's going on in the Mid-South area. If you've never joined us before, this is our online weathercast giving you an opportunity to ask questions about what's going on in the Mid-South and beyond. We'll again keep you updated throughout the rest of the weekend. Check out the rest of the forecast scrolling through at the bottom of the page. And also, if you'd like to get even more details, go to this website address, wreg.com slash weather for more details about what's happening with the forecast out there. Speaking of which, let's take a quick peek at what's going on overnight. Mostly clear of few clouds across the Mid-South, and that's really about it. Temperatures, again, by the time we hit about daybreak tomorrow morning in the mid to upper 30s, parts of the Mid-South could drop into the freezing area, so we could see the possibility of maybe some frost on the windshields in some parts of the viewing area. Not a lot, but it's still possible, and please remember to scrape the entire windshield clean. That whole periscope driving thing is not safe just don't do it and just let's make certain everybody stays careful out there on the roadways wind should be light and should not be a problem into tomorrow temperatures today about a category below normal no rainfall that's a nice thing to tell people about we're still about six inches ahead for the entire year welcome everybody checking in across the area for tonight like to have everybody uh, in the area if you're again dropping in from the mid-south or wherever you're from uh, give us a location, city, state, and if you got any weather reports, put that thermometer outside the kitchen window to some good use and let us know what the temperatures are like in your areas. Plus, coming up, more of your weather pictures, so stay tuned for more on that. Low of 39 and back into the mid-40s is where we should be. Mississippi River level, again, out there, it's already stretched toward the West Memphis levee area and across much of the mid-south area, some pretty high river levels. We're still in minor flood stage. The uh, moderate flood stage is at 40 feet. We were up there several days ago. Now the numbers are dropping, but notice right about midweek, the numbers kind of take a turn and start stabilizing, and then they head back upwards again. Not huge, but they are going to be noticeably higher into the next few days because of all that river level melt back to the north of us. So for big river crossing, if you're planning on uh, hiking or biking that direction, the exit is still closed on the Arkansas side of things. And with these numbers, it will be for quite some time. So until it drops significantly out of flood stage, it's going to be a while before we see anything in the way of drier conditions out there for anything involving the Mississippi. Now, this is something that could be a major story coming up in the next few weeks to where a lot of the Mississippi River system, the Missouri back up toward portions of Iowa, Minnesota, and to the Dakotas, Nebraska, picking up all that water, and that stuff's got to go someplace. So on these river stage areas, we could be looking at the possibility of all that water funneling into the Mississippi River, and we could be seeing some very high levels for the next several days, even weeks to come out there with 40 gauges in major flooding at this point. Most of those are on the upper Missouri and into around portions of the Red River into the Dakotas. Again, all that water has got to drain back down toward the Gulf of Mexico, and we'll be waiting for that to happen here as we keep an eye on the levels close to Memphis. If you'd like to see more about these links, drop by our web section, again, wrhe.com. We've got information there on what's going on with the rivers in the next few days. Rhodes College, beautiful sunset for tonight, but otherwise not bad as we go throughout the 
the rest of the evening hours with temperatures again back into the mid to upper 40s to lower 50s. View from the Hilton East Memphis camera. Again, a very clear view out there with just a few clouds and a few leftover jet contrails drifting on through. Storm Tracker 3S radar at 10 past 8 o'clock is looking completely and totally a uh, clean sweep out there for tonight. Donnie Richmond, 52 in Vihalia. Thank you very much for that weather report. Uh, my lovely wife, Melissa Onik, joining us, and a ha very happy 13th anniversary to her and myself. So, yeah, very uh, looking forward to more 13-plus years, and thank you very much for everything, all the adventures along the way there. Willie Stanback, 51 degrees, North Haven, Tennessee, right above Memphis. Thank you very much uh, for that one. And, uh, Melissa, thank you very much for getting the coffee ready tomorrow. I'm definitely going to need it with this schedule out there. Storm Tracker 3S radar, again, nothing in the way of any precipitation out there. We've got, again, some very quiet conditions and very dry air dropping in from the north, so we don't have much of anything to worry about in the way of rain. Now, next several days, well, we'll talk more about that coming up here uh, in just a little bit. Rest of the area, again, not really seeing all that much. A few clouds thickest around northern Mississippi, southern Arkansas, as the moisture stays down to our south. And we are watching a couple of things on the long rain side of things. We've got another decent storm system about ready to slam into the northwest coast of the United States and Canada's west coast. Beyond that, way out past and just off the Japanese coast, there's a storm system that is almost hurricane strength, and it looks like that one back that way is going to be avoiding the Hawaiian Islands. But in the next week or two, if you're heading anywhere towards, say, Canada, Alaska, or northwestern United States, you may want to watch out for that storm system because that thing could be packing a pretty decent punch out there. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you advised on that for right now. Uh, as that next storm system comes our way. Decently cool across the Mid-South, temperatures back in the mid to upper 40s, and we'll be slowly dropping into the rest of the afternoon, rest of the evening tonight. Winds fairly light, so not much of a wind chill, but 45 degrees in Tunica at the airport, combined with 7 mile per hour winds. That's taking your wind chills down into about the mid-30s briefly. So jacket would not be a bad idea for tonight or for the rest of the evening. Through about News Channel 3 at 10, lower to mid-40s out there. The moving lines on screen, that's the winds out there across much of the area for tonight. And then also seeing, again, a few clouds drifting on through from time to time, but just really there's not that much moisture out there for anything involving rain, now or even clouds for that matter. Temperatures back in the lower 30s, parts of southwest Tennessee, Northeast Mississippi could be looking at temperatures back in the lower 30s there. Tomorrow looks great for St. Patrick's Day. If you got any outdoor St. Patty's Day plans, no problems at all. Temperatures more into the lower 60s, a few upper 50s out there as well. Winds out of the west-northwest keeping us very dry and pretty mild as we go throughout tomorrow night. Temperatures back in the lower to mid 50s across much of the mid-south. So again, and I don't know why this thing is continuing to pick up those wrong numbers right there, but there's no showers tomorrow, no showers for Monday, just a few clouds out there, and temperatures back in the mid to upper 50s for Tuesday. Again, no rainfall expected here all the way on through the middle part of the week. Now, the last day of winter, temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. First day of spring, spring starts this Wednesday at just before 6 p.m., so we're almost there. The first full day of spring looks very nice. Unfortunately, where the temperatures are concerned, unfortunately, we get a chance of rain. Very fast-moving system coming through called a clipper system, and these things can just rocket through an area, dropping a little bit of rainfall. These things usually do not stick around to cause problems with winter weather or lots of severe weather. So we probably are just going to have some passing rainfall, and that should be about it for right now. Very mild toward the end of this next week. The first weekend of spring looks pretty good. Unfortunately, by next weekend, we could be picking up some more showers out there and also the possibility as we look into and around the lower 70s for Monday into Tuesday. John Mulliken, my weather cohort and takeover for the WeatherWise uh, program at the Pink Palace. How's the weather for skydiving in Somerville tomorrow? Well, you got plenty. I uh, hope your parachute is green, by the way. Uh, temperature's back around 60 and plenty of sunshine out there, so we do have, again, some relatively good conditions and winds uh, out of the west northwest about five to ten miles per hour so hopefully that won't move you too far off target as you follow the force of gravity and again 
you're more a braver man than I am on stuff like that. So good luck with the skydiving if that's what you're going to be doing out there. So thank you very much. Uh, rest of the forecast, again, very pleasant. Next weekend and early part of the first full week of spring, lower 70s and those chances of showers may linger around. This really doesn't concern me too much where it comes to, first of all, obviously no winter weather with temperatures like this. No severe weather showing up at this time. Uh, and again, it doesn't look like this is going to be aggravating the possibility of anything involving uh, the flooding. But all that water north of us, all that snow melt and the ice melted by the rainfall, that could be, again, some problems for the Mississippi River staying very high into the next several days. So if your livelihood depends on travel or farming around the Mississippi, you could be looking at some pro possible snarls and problems out there uh, into the next couple of weeks if this system holds and we do not get any more drier weather out there. And hopefully, again, cross your fingers, we're going to be seeing, again, less of anything in the way of snow or rain to add to that problem. So good news on that. Uh, Joyce Johnson Berry, 49.1 in Crenshaw, Mississippi. Thank you very much. Uh, for that one, Willie E. Standback, yes, springtime finally getting back around the corner here. Only a few more days to get there. John David King, good weekend to get out. Yes, a lot of people at the car wash and getting out into the park, going across Big River Crossing, so good opportunity to see more there. This is National Weather Podcast Month. In other news, there is such a thing as National Weather Podcast Month. I didn't even know about this until just about a few weeks ago. But if you'd like to check out a whole bunch of different podcasts, there's tons of them out there. Uh, Weather Brains with meteorologist James Spann is a very good one to go to. Tons of others out there about storm chasing, about climate change, about all kinds of stuff. And don't forget to download or listen to our own Tornado Alert Emotional Terror as Tim and Jim tell you about life in front of the camera when severe weather happens. So again, a good opportunity to learn more about the different podcasts that are out there. And hopefully we'll be bringing you more information on different podcasts and topics as we go throughout the next several weeks and months. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 and we'll keep you advised on that. Rest of the day today and over the next uh, several days, hopefully getting some good pictures in here, like Kay McPherson from Hardeman County on Tuesday. Nice view of sunrise with, again, some of those clouds drifting on through and blocking out just a little bit of the sunshine there. Donnell Peterson from last week picking up a very nice view of a fading jet contrail against a very nicely sunlit or sunrise uh, sky. We didn't quite get the... Uh, location or description on this, but thank you to uh, Danelle Peterson for that donation there. Edith Billings Mann, Friday sunset from around Woodstock, Tennessee. Thank you very much for a beautiful picture there through the trees and also a beautiful view this morning from Lisa A. Seberg Freeman. A uh, beautiful view of sunrise early Saturday from Senatobia, Mississippi with those nice colors being seen uh, out there from early in the, the morning hours. If you've got weather pictures, please send them to me, tweet them, put them on Facebook, link to me on Instagram. Would love to have your pictures out there so we can show them just like we did right now and on News Channel 3's uh, weathercast, if at all possible, when we have time. So please send them along to me at whatever you can. Also, don't forget you can send them to me by email at austin.onic at wreg.com. For more information on that, just find me on the web, and I'll be out there someplace. Catch my forecast on Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 throughout the rest of the weekend on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. Coming up in a little bit less than half an hour, we'll be taking a look at weather where the troops are. If you have friends or loved ones serving overseas, kind of like in Afghanistan, we'll give you an idea as to what it looks like over there. 34 and clear in Kabul, 46, partly cloudy in Kandahar. Rain this morning around Herat, not seeing anything there. Clear skies, 47, and Faizabad, 43, with partly cloudy skies. Our little way of saying thank you very much to everybody who wears the uniform of their country for doing what they do, and also to those on the home front who like to keep track of what the weather is going on over there. We, we can't feature everybody, and of course we don't like hyper-localize on things. We don't do anything top secret. All of this is publicly available information. It's our little way of saying thank you, so again, tune in for more of that. I'll have more details on whether what the troops are coming up at about a quarter till 9 o'clock on my Periscope, Twitter, and my Facebook page, so stay tuned for more there. All right, one more check of the forecast before we wrap things up. Again, for tonight, looking again at some chilly conditions by tomorrow morning. Mostly clear, few clouds here and there, but that's going to be about it. And temperatures, again, brisk as you get up for church or Sunday school or wherever you're going tomorrow morning, about in the mid to upper 30s. 
a few frosty lower 30s out there, so get ready again to scrape the windshield in some parts of the Mid-South, and again, might want to bundle up by just a little bit because we're talking about some pretty chilly numbers across much of the area. That'll do it for this edition of News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime, at just about 21 minutes past 8 o'clock on Saturday night. We'll have more again coming up on our podcast at 8.45. I'll have more on News Channel 3 at 10. And, of course, I'll have more coming up on Daybreak that starts at 6 a.m. Central Daylight Time with myself and Nina Harrelson in the anchor seat, so stay tuned for more there. And, of course, if you've got weather pictures out there, tweet them, email them, let me know what you got out there, and keep up to date with the forecast with News Channel 3 online or on air, and we'll keep you informed. That'll do it for tonight. Thanks for joining us. Have a safe weekend, and tune in for more with News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend.